Hey guys, I just arrived to JFK. Flew from uh, DFW Airport, Terminal E. Good morning, everyone. It's great to have you on board with us. As you get settled, please place smaller items underneath the seat in front of you and larger bags in the overhead. Just arrived to JFK, flew from uh, DFW Airport Terminal E to JFK International. I've got about six and a half to seven more hours before my next flight to so my international flight. I'm flying to Europe. My overall experience with Delta Airlines was pretty good. I decided to fly Delta Comfort just because it's going to be such a long flight for me. My first leg of flight from DFW to JFK, what they offer you is a couple of snacks, coffee, and my flight attendant, she was uh, really nice. She was able to talk to me a little bit about some of the improvements that Delta is working on. In 2023, Delta goal was to hire over 30,000 employees. Like for instance, if you do call their customer service, you're gonna get somebody answering the phone within about one to five minutes. And that's because they have a lot of employees now working from home. I got lucky on my flight coming from DFW to JFK because nobody was sitting next to me, but it was because also it's, it was the earliest flight of the day and it was a Tuesday, April 2nd. One of my travel hacks too, is just and every year it's going to be different so you just gotta uh, do your research and find out to be exact to make sure that you get to take advantage of the days that are not as popular or as busy for people to travel but for me tuesday i choose tuesday to travel just because uh like on my flight for instance there was literally i would say 70 percent of the flight was full so now i'm gonna go explore jfk a little bit it's been a while since i've been to this airport it looks like they're updating a lot so i'll be updating you guys when I land in my uh, European country. One of the other travel hacks you want to learn to do if you're traveling internationally and again I'm just starting to do this really I started this last year when I flew to Singapore and if you've missed any of my videos about Singapore definitely check them out. One of the hacks the tricks to traveling internationally is if you can I know it's not always possible but if you can try to start adjusting to the schedule wherever you're gonna fly a week before and then on the day that you can be flying if you have a layover, like in my case, I've got about seven and a half hour layover here at JFK. So currently it's almost uh, noon here, but the country that I'm flying to in Europe, they're about six hours ahead of us. So I will be taking a nap at about 2 p.m. from about 2, 2 to 7 just to adjust to the schedule. So that way when I land, I won't be as tired. The majority of my flight is actually, I'm going to be staying up just to match the schedule. So that's how the travel hack is as much as possible. I know it's not always doable but because it depends on your schedule and your job but if you can try to adjust to the schedule because then you're already investing so much money the next best investment you can make in yourself is by waking up to match the country that you're going to be going to For business class, the only thing it doesn't have, there's no window here. So I'm gonna be flying the entire flight seven and a half hours without a window. Well, technically I got this little window right here, but the whole reason I wanted this seat is to uh, try to get some good shots when we get to zero. But I guess that's not happening with this big space here. First impression, not bad for business class. Let me show you some of the things that uh, Delta business class offers. Real quick, let me tell you guys some of the things that they offer you when you first come in on a business class with Delta Premium. Select, you get this little baggie. I'm sure it's toiletries. You got this pillow, water bottle, and headphones. Before our flight takes off, let me show you a little bit. I finally got a chance to kind of look at this. This, this is a toiletry bag that Delta Premium provides, which is basically Delta Business Class. So let's look inside what it has and offers. Here's what you get inside of a Delta Premium bag. That's a toiletry bag. You get these socks to wear. So I'm kind of looking forward to take my shoes off. Don't worry guys, my feet do not smell. You get this toothbrush with toothpaste. 
Let's see what else is in there. There's a couple more things. You also get, sorry, my first time opening this, so you guys are seeing the same thing as I am for the first time. You get this lip balm, grown alchemist, and there's one more thing. I think you get a sleeping mask with something else here.